Welcome to Lecture Online and now we're ready to do a simple example. Now this is a very simple example but it helps to understand how Newton's method works to find the roots of a function. So here we have a simple function f of x equals 2x minus 8 and most people that know algebra would not have any problems finding the root, finding the place when you find uh, finding the place where the function would equal to 0. Of course that's right here and if you look at this equation, set y equal to 0, solve for x, and you see that when x is equal to 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 minus 8 is 0, that's when y would be 0. But this is just to illustrate how Newton's method works. So let's say we pick a point, we didn't know what point to pick, so we pick an arbitrary point, and we say, well, x1 is equal to 5. Let's use Newton's method to see if we'll find the root of that function. Okay, so they tell me that when plugging it into this equation, I will be able to find a point, either the actual root or a point closer to the root. In this case, I think we'll actually find the actual root, so let's find out. So first of all, we need to evaluate the function at x equals 1. So f at x equals x sub 1 is equal to the function evaluated when x is equal to, we picked it as 5, which is equal to 2 times 5 minus 8, so that's equal to 10 minus 8, which is equal to 2. And then we take the derivative of the function, so we say f prime of x is equal to, if this is the function, the derivative would simply be 2, and so we don't have to evaluate it, it's always equal to 2 because we know the slope of a straight line doesn't change, and so we can then see that our second point, x sub 2, is equal to our first point, which we picked to be 5, minus the function evaluated at x sub 1, which is this one right here, so that's equal to the function when x is equal to 5 divided by the derivative when x is equal to 5 and so x sub 2 is equal to 5 minus okay the function when x is equal to 5 that would be equal to 2 divided by the derivative which is equal to 2 which x sub 2 is equal to 5 minus 1 or x sub 2 is equal to 4 and sure enough we know that this happens when x is equal to 4 so right, about, right away, with my first attempt, I found my second point, x sub 2 is equal to 4, which is equal to the actual root of the function, and we see Newton's method works. So that's a fairly simplistic example, but you can at least see that that's simply how you apply it. You find the function, you evaluate the function at your first trial point. When we do that, we get a number. We, dev we then find the derivative of the function and evaluate it at our first trial point, and we get a number. We plug those two numbers in, we calculate a new value for x, and that usually gets us closer to the root, where in this case it got us the exact root. And that's how Newton's method, Newton's method works.